Hello, my name is Alan Bow. I'm one of the co-founders of SaaS.js. And one of the nice things that SaaS.js allows you as a SaaS app developer to do is build on one platform in SaaS and deploy to three. Because you can actually, with this framework, deploy not only to SaaS via using the Job Execution Service or SaaS 9 using stored processes to run SaaS code, you can also build apps on regular foundation desktop based SaaS using this SaaS.js server product, which I'm going to show you today. We're going to launch the, we're going to download it from GitHub, launch it and build a React Seed app on top of it. So uh, the whole thing's open source. It's easy to find. You just go to GitHub, hit the releases tab, and then download the version for your operating system. Um, I'm not going to wait for that to download because I've already got one downloaded here. And what you do is once you've downloaded uh, downloaded and unzipped it, is just double click it and that will launch a local node server. Uh, and that's the thing that's going to connect to your local SAS instance. So you pass the path to your SAS instance, a location of a temporary directory, and that's it. It's running. Uh, before I show you the server, I'm going to first of all go back to the GitHub and open the repository for the React seed app. Uh, so this is a, a ready-made <clears throat> seed app using uh, the React framework. And so all you do is you hit the clone button and then head back to your editor and type git clone and then uh, clone the repository. But I don't have to clone it because I've already cloned it. Um, once you've cloned it, just change into it and run an npm install. And that will deploy all of the dependencies in there. That ran a bit quicker because I'd already installed it. And then once it's installed, uh, you then need to deploy the backend services. So before I do that, let's look at some of the configuration. So there's two things you need to configure for your environment. Uh, the first one would be the index HTML. So this contains a, uh, a SASJS config object uh, where you pass in the server for your, for your SASJS server, and the app lock where you're going to deploy your backend SAS programs and the server type, which could be SAS9, SAS Fire, or SASJS. So that's the front end. And then moving over to the back end, then all of the SAS services are configured here in this SAS.js config file. These are the locations of the services. These are the macros. And then we have a series of targets depending on where we're going to deploy those services. So you might have a via target um, or a, a SAS 9 target. In our case, we're going to have a, a SAS.js server target. So to compile, build, and deploy those services then. I use a cpd command for the target called server. So that will compile all of the macros into each of the relevant services and deploy them and that's done. Um, so they've been deployed here. This is SASJS server. There's a home page. There's a drive page where the backend services are deployed. And then there's a, a studio as well where you can um, run SAS code. <clears throat> and fetch the log. Um, so this basically, there's two parts to SASGIS server. There's kind of an interface where you can browse files. And then there's also an API, um, which handles the, um, the, the backwards and forwards requests. Uh, and that is without the hash. It is. Um, so I won't get too deep into the API. Let's go back to the uh, React app. So to launch this app, you just run npm start. That will create a local instance of this seed app. Um, and um, and then you should get a link. As you know, but there you go. It just launches the, the app locally on the port 3000. So that's now... Um, building and launching a local version of this React Seed app. What I'm going to do is open up DevTools so we can actually see the the conversation between this front-end app and uh, the SaaS backend. Here we go. It's ready. Hit the demo page. Um, the app in it is already run. Uh, hit submit. Uh, and that's it. So what's happening here is these requests are going to SaaS. It's actually running base SaaS. And you can see here in the bottom right, I've got this SaaS icon which is flashing away. Um, also to point out how quick this is. So uh, we've got um, requests running in quarter of a second or so. 
so yeah, if you'd like to use this framework, um, like I said, it's on GitHub. Uh, we're always looking for contributors um, or, or testers to 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 make these things better. Just go to GitHub.com/sasjs.